Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to implement a hash table uh, common interview question here. So let's go ahead and do it in Python. Uh, I l went ahead and launched the bash shell. Uh, we're going to launch our Python interpreter here. And uh, a hash table, simple one for interview purposes, is going to be made up of three parts. We've got a table, we have a, an, a hashing function, and an insert function. So let's go ahead and instantiate our table here. Our table is going to be, say, uh, we'll, we'll do none as the null type, or you could do zero maybe, and we'll have it be say 10 spots long. So here's our table. Now um, we just need a hashing function and insert function. Our hashing function is going to look something like this. We're going to, it could honestly be anything, but this one right here, we're going to return say x mod 10. So any value that's passed through, it's going to be between 0 and 9, which will fit perfectly in our hash table there. And uh, now we need an insert function. Let's go ahead and test the hashing function here real quick. So let's say we got 15. This should return 5. There we go. Same thing. If we run that again, we do say 115. That should also be 5. Perfect. And uh, now we need an insert function. So here we're going to pass our table through, we're going to pass our key through, and a value through. And um, here it's going to be the table, we're going to put our um, hashing function here to work. and. This is going to be the key, so we're going to hash the key, and that's going to be the index, because remember it's going to be from 0 to 9. Uh, that's going to be the index here in our table, and that's just going to be equal to the value. Now this implementation does not avoid collisions, so here's our table. We can go ahead and try to use this. So let's go ahead and insert um, our table. Let's insert the key, say, 15. And our value is going to be dog. Why not? So we just inserted dog into our hash table. And there it is. And uh, let's go ahead and insert maybe cat into our table. And let's give it the hashing function of 117 key. So that'll give us actually 7 when it hashes. Again, we have kind of a simple hashing function, but for interview purposes, this is something easy to do. And we went ahead and inserted it, and it's right there. Now, the problem here we run into is if we try to insert something, say, back into our spot here, we have a similar fun uh, key. When it hashes down, it'll collide with the dog. And we try to insert, let's say, zebra something unique. What's going to happen is here it's going to override our dog. Now that's a collision, we want to avoid that. Now what we can do here is we can change the implementation slightly to make it like a list of lists, which is almost like a linked list in uh, C++ for our implementation. So let's go ahead and do that. Our table instantiation is going to be a little bit different. We're going to have to instantiate a list of lists. So a list for x in range. Actually, we don't have to do x. I think the proper way is there. And 10. So there's our list of lists. Okay, now we can keep the same hashing function. We just need to change our insert. So our insert, we're going to still pass the table through. Our key is still going to be passed through, and our value is still going to be passed through. The only thing we're really going to change here is we're going to append this value instead of setting this value. So we're still going to call the same indice hashin. There we go. And here we're just going to call append. And we're going to append our value. And easy as that. So here, if we go through 
and we insert let's go ahead and insert our, our zebra we see our zebra there and let's go ahead and insert sorry my bash is a little messed up here all right let's go ahead and insert dog back in here if we look at table we see that there's two entries there so it's a it's almost like a linked list and that's going to avoid your collision and that's a that's a good way to approach an interview it's quick it's easy to code and um, kind of easy to remember